Hey guys, welcome. Austin here, and today we're going to be touring a property in Beacon Hill, which Beacon Hill is a community in the southern part of Seattle. And the house that we're looking at today is pretty big. It's 2,800 square feet. There's five bedrooms and three bathrooms here. It's currently listed at 1.1. Uh, interesting thing about this property is that they actually purchased this last year um, and they did a whole remodel on it. It was in really bad shape. So they went through and re gutted and basically redid everything. And I think one of the highlighting features here of this property um, is the fact that the upstairs or the main level and then the lower level, they're kind of set up to be separate living quarters. So if you wanted to occupy the main level as your primary residence, you could very easily rent out the lower half of the property, which has a separate entrance and they can enter from a different part of the property. Um, but there's two bedrooms and one bathroom down in the lower part of this, uh, of this home. And so there's some great opportunity for being able to uh, rent out and make some of that additional uh, income from doing the rental. And so that's one of the main things that I'm seeing here as I walk through this. Alongside that, really nice finishes and just really clean. It's a really blank slate. You can move in here. Uh, you can add any of the finishing touches that you wanted to and then just move your furniture in and you're good to go. So without further ado, I wanted to give a thank you to Leah Huang of Globe Next Realty. Uh, thanks Leah for letting us check out this property. And without further ado, let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are. We're in Beacon Hill. You can see there's a little bit of road traffic. Not a lot, not a lot of fun to, to hear that. So definitely think that that's one of the things for consideration on this one. Um, but we do have a really lovely house and that's what we're gonna be focusing on. So we're here in Beacon Hill, Seattle. This one was completely remodeled, uh, completely refinished. Uh, they did pretty much everything. It's really cool. So. We're gonna go into what I would consider the main level. Uh, this is a vinyl siding, so it's not a wood product or a composite. It is kind of a plasticky type material. And then this looks like some older brick or stone that they had painted over. And we're here in April or March 31st, so we can kind of see the flowers are blooming and everything's really nice. I know we kind of have a great day today, but all in all, oh, there's a huge plane that just flew over there. So we are near an airport. Um, so you will be hearing uh, flights and whatnot. But when you come into the house, it gets pretty quiet. So a lot of noise cancellation, I believe. So what we have here, we have nice floors. These are going to be a uh, luxury vinyl plank. And then we have a fireplace over here. I think we have a few extra lights. Uh, Leah did a phenomenal job staging this one. So this one looks really nice. It's really, really fun to show. So kind of the main living area would be right here. And then uh, we have like a dining area. So kind of a kitchen table, kind of a dining room. Now the kitchen is a little, uh, a little bit smaller, I guess. Um, it's definitely functional and can work, um, but you know when you're buying something for 1.1 in this area, probably would want something potentially a little bit, you know, it just kind of seems like the oven is off to the side and the sink is kind of right here. It's kind of nice to have it be in like a one central type location. So we got a new fridge, but. But nevertheless, uh, really, really well done. Um, I can tell that the person that did the remodel worked extremely well with uh, what they were working with. So uh, we have one full bathroom here. And then we have um, a staged bedroom. Now, this doesn't have a closet, but they did put one of these in here. So. Uh, we'll have to check out the rest of the property to see if this is what they're considering to be the fifth bedroom or if there is a if there's a few other bedrooms as well. Um, I know that we do have one over here. So we have our closet area right here. Now here's something that they did do extra is they added in some additional uh, shelving. Now it's not necessarily like the California closets that we've all seen, 
Um, but still, a lot of times when people are doing investment properties, they will just skip out on stuff like that. And uh, you know, you need a place to kind of put your clothes and whatnot. So it's nice to see that the the person that was doing the remodel here uh, took the time to add it in that extra detail. So there's going to be some more closets over here. Oh, it looks like this is where the washer and dryer would go. There's not a unit here, um, but they do have a, this would be set for the laundry room. Little area for a plant. And then here is what I would consider the primary bedroom. So we have the, uh, we have kind of a sitting area over here. And then the, uh, it's a rainy day here in Seattle. I don't know if it's really showing through necessarily on the camera, but we got a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain. So gotta love that, but spring's right around the corner. So sooner than, you know, not too long and this'll be, this'll be gone. So primary uh, bathroom here, we got two sinks and then we have a, a tub and a shower head, nothing crazy. But again, everything's been just really cleaned up nicely. Uh, so this is, so this is the closet. So that will hang up a little bit of clothes, but not not a whole lot. So I think the closet space here would be, you know, not necessarily one of the highlights of it. Um, be nice to have a little bit more bit more closet space. But you could potentially do something over here in this area. You could pretend, but it's kind of nice to have that sitting area too. But I think a closet would definitely outpace the importance of a, of a sitting area. Okay, so that's gonna be the main level here for the most part. Uh, there was one other area over here, and that is just the pantry. So it does have a pantry. It doesn't have a lot of shelving in here, so that's probably something that you'd want to maybe put on one of these sides is a little bit more shelving. Um, but yeah, so let me go grab my shoes real quick. Actually, I don't need them because the whole thing's covered. But we're going to go outside, so actually I do need them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go check out the, the lower half of the property. So this is kind of an interesting setup. I haven't really seen this a whole lot. So right now we're kind of outside, um, but it's completely covered. So these stairs were refinished uh, nicely. But yeah, so we can walk down here and we're not going to get rained on. And so this is where the, the next unit is. And I'll show you, that's where they could, that's where they could enter. That's where the second entrance is. So down here, we have another living, open concept type living space right here. And then this would be like the second, uh, another bedroom down here. And then so another kitchen, no island, that's okay. And a lot of countertop space, so. A lot of countertop space. They have the open shelving here, stainless steel appliances. And the fridge is over there. That's a little bit of an interesting space for that. And then just uh, kind of a regular full bathroom here. Let's see what else we have in this part of the unit. So we do have a bedroom-ish here. There's no, there is a closet, yep. So we are a bedroom here. I would say this room actually has the best closet out of all of them. And then a utility room here. So, so they have the two bedrooms and then a full bathroom down here. And so, yeah, you could easily rent this out um, or you could use it for when you have guests coming to town, kind of whatever your preference is. And then we'll go out into the rain and we'll see the backyard. I'll probably get a little loud again. We do have a garage here as well, a two car. So that's nice. They, uh, the floor is obviously a little bit older, but they did uh, reseal it, which is nice. 
So, I mean, they did a good job. I mean, they really, the house is a bit interesting anyway, but they, they really tried to clean it up really well and, and uh, position it that way. So the deck, they have some staging out here as well. We've had wind, like I had mentioned. The lot's about 7,000 square feet on this one. So again, you can kind of see that there's some of the road over here. You can hear uh, I-5. Got a little wind, a little rain picking up here. And then, uh, yep, so this is the back side of the property. And then, yep, so got the chimney over here and then you got the HVAC uh, mini split as well. That's not going to the uh, mini splits on the interior of the, of the, of the house, um, but it is feet, uh, doing it through forced air. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna add the heating and cooling, which will make it nice, especially as summer's right around the corner. It's gonna get pretty hot here for a little bit. It'll be nice to have that cooling element. All right, guys, if you have any questions on this property, please feel free to reach out. I'll put my contact information in the, in the description below. And if, you have, if, if you're looking in anywhere in, in uh, you know, kind of greater Seattle area, so anywhere kind of surrounding Seattle, you're looking to buy or maybe you have a property you're looking to sell, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to, love to work with you guys. And yeah, if you don't mind also liking and subscribing, that would be uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.